Hello and welcome to the ninth in a series of 15 meditations, one per evening. You've done very well to get here. Nine days in a row. You are to be congratulated. But I have to say at this point, there are some people who are starting to have a few doubts. Doubts about themselves, really. Could be, I don't really understand much of this Ram's going on about. Is it for me? Am I doing it properly? Is it benefiting me? All these self-judgments come in. And I have to tell you, it matters very little. At the end of the day, when you could have done lots of other things, you've chosen to click on here for half an hour. That's a commitment. That's one of the requirements of somebody who wishes to learn. A dedication is necessary. These things are not about the result. It's about the journey. Nobody's going to judge you, except perhaps yourself. And therefore, tonight, we need to pay a little bit of attention to this judgment, to the fact that you have choices, you have willpower. How do those all play together? Now, this is not going to be a talk about the doctrine of karma and, and consequences of actions and things like this. Although if we have time, we might touch on that later. No, this is simply a confidence in yourself that what you're doing is the best that can be done at this moment. And when you have that confidence, it matters little what people say. Their words cannot harm you. Their actions cannot harm you. It's only what you think about yourself and your will to continue that aids you. So today, we're going to have a slightly longer meditation because your meditation muscle is now getting stronger. Your focus is getting more acute. Well done for that. It takes practice. And that's what you've been doing. So let us settle down in meditation. You know what to do. Whether sat in your chair or sat on the ground, you need to be grounded. Firmly planted to the floor. and relaxed. You may by now have developed your own variation on the relaxation that works for you. That's fine too. With your eyes gently closed, 
you start analysis of yourself from head to toe. It's as if you've got a heightened awareness of the state of those muscles in the face as you try and relax. Because right now, your body can be still. The parts of it that needs keep you alive will carry on without you, without you willing it on, so you can relax. Work down your body with every breath. You can be more relaxed. This meditation is on the faculty of choice. In life, one has to choose. The human life is lived on the basis of the faculty of choice. Choosing is willing. Your will expresses itself in the form of choice. Critical judgments also imply choice. If you have no choice, in using your faculty of choice, then you lose choice. In order to live your life full of choices, you have to become familiar with yourself without choices. You cannot know what a life full of choice is like if you do not know yourself without choices. If you can move your will at your will, choice doesn't harm you. Indeed, choice can only help you. One has to learn what it is to be myself without using choice so that I can use choice. As you hear these words, what choice do you have? Hearing these words takes place without your willing. What is going to be my next set of words? You do not know nor do you want to know. You do not sit in judgment to say that these words are good or bad. The words are heard without your willing. Indeed, they are understood 
without your willing. Even if they're not understood, even that doesn't imply your will. Quite simply, your willing does not make the situation better. Will is in suspension now. And without it, you are yourself. We are used to our will to become. Here the becoming will, the will that attempts to become, stands completely suspended. That means that there's no attempt to become. That means that you are okay just as you are. It's nice to be yourself, just as you are. Whatever you want to learn, you can learn happily. Instead of learning in order to be happy, happily you can learn. Huge difference. Cheerfully, happily, you can learn. If in this session you're learning something, that learning takes place without any pain. Pain of learning is the anxiety of learning. And without that pain, there is only cheerful learning. It is this sort of person that learns about himself or herself. a person who learns happily. A person who is simple, non-critical, not critical of others, not critical of the self. You are not a limit to yourself or others. A simple person. A self-accepted person. Happily learns all about the self. It's the very best way. When you don't judge on the basis of your mind, you are acceptable to yourself.
is worth repeating. When you don't judge on the basis of your mind, you are acceptable to yourself. When you don't judge on the basis of your body, you are acceptable to yourself. Then why judge? Self-judgment is self-destructive, self-demeaning. Let the self be as it is. Why should one judge at all? As you focus on your breathing, you're not judgmental on it. It is as it is. While watching your breathing, your attention is focused on one thing. Just the breath. Don't focus your attention on anything chosen. Your mind is fully awake and you are with the moment. You are aware of whatever is happening right now. There is a difference between your focusing attention upon one thing and just being yourself alert, not paying attention to anything in particular. Because when you pay attention to anything in particular, you choose. Here, now, without choosing, you're just yourself. You're with the moment. Now you happen to hear my voice. When you hear something or don't hear something, you can appreciate you're just yourself, a conscious person. To be a conscious person is natural, it does not require any effort at all. To be conscious of anything in particular, you require effort, you require will and direction. 
you have to make a choice. like you required to be attentive when you are watching your breathing just now. It was a particular job. There was direction. There was an object. A given object for watching. Now, because of my words, the attention on the breath is gone. There is no given object. Whatever happens in your mind, let it happen. Without anxiety, just be yourself. Even if there is anxiety, just be aware of the anxiety. Because you're not familiar being yourself, it takes effort. Really speaking, it takes no effort to be yourself. The no effort situation is being yourself. And being yourself implies no judgment. Don't judge yourself in terms of your mind, your memory, your body, or any external situation. Worth repeating. Don't judge yourself in terms of your mind, your memory, your body, or any external situation. Suppose you had a painful past. You have survived the pain and now it's memory. Why should I judge myself in terms of memory? When I don't judge myself, I'm non-judgmental. I am understanding and there is kindness to myself and the world. Not hurting others is responsible living. The process of hurting yourself is not intelligent living. Why should I hurt myself? What do I lose when I'm not judgmental with reference to myself? Tell me, what do I lose? Be with that moment, that non-judgmental moment, to be 
as you are.
Thank you, everyone, for, for spending your precious half an hour with me this evening. I always enjoy being with you all. Let's bring our hands together. Om Shanti 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 Thank you. Sleep well, sweet dreams, and I'll join you again tomorrow evening. Bye-bye.